In just a month, if needed, the Bahamas' negotiating team will present another revised offer to the World Trade Organization. Just this past week, the Bahamas' chief negotiator to the WTO, Shavago Lang, gave an update on where the country stands now with negotiations. But he also sought to further explain exactly what is in the Bahamas' offer. A proper reading of the WTO offer, the services offer, will reveal the following. One, it very closely mirrors our current national investment policy. Anyone who properly reads this offer will note that we have not proposed to change very much in the way of our national investment policy. Firstly, let me say, <clears throat> I want to challenge us. Average people in this country, when they take an interest enough in something, read some very serious things if they take an interest in it you know and uh, so I would suggest that if we give enough fulsome uh, publishing of this information I think lots of average people will soak up the information but I do agree that there are lots of people who may not take that time at the end of the day, Lang says WTO accession for the Bahamas means growth for the country's economy. There's nothing more important to the prosperity of this country than the growth of this economy. It is in that growth that we get job creation, business opportunities, income growth, and the like, government revenue, and so forth. So I would suggest that anything we could do to encourage growth is something that we ought to seek to do.